In this video, I will show you how to install Jenkins in your Windows 10 machine. I'll open my Notepad++ and here you will see these are the steps that we have to follow. So there are total four steps only. And after following these four steps, we will be able to download Jenkins successfully. In Google, you have to type Jenkins. Then you have to first click on this first link, Jenkins. Once you come on this page, you have to click on this button download. And once you come on this page, then here you will see we are getting two options here, download Jenkins. And on the left side, we have download Jenkins. And this is LTS that is long term support. And this is the new version. So we will go with this version because this provides a long term version. Then you have to click on this and you have to download this war file. And this will start downloading the wall file. Now let me open the notepad plus plus. So before downloading the Jenkins, we have to make sure that we have Java installed on our machine and it supports only Java 11 and 17 version. Now let us check the Java version. So I'll open a command prompt here. I will type CMD and to check Java version, we will just type Java slash version and here you can see my java version is 17 and jenkins supports java 11 and 17 version only so if your java version is different make sure you download the latest one which is a 17 the latest one is 18 but this 17 provides the lts that is the long term support so you need to download this java 17 version now since it is already installed on my system then i can go to the Second steps that is download the war file and once the war file is downloaded, then we have to start the installation process. Now I'll close this one. I'll minimize this window. I'll go to the folder in which this war file has been downloaded. And this is the folder. Now I'll open the notepad here. The next step is we have to open the command prompt. I will type here CMD. And then we have to go to the directory where the war file is downloaded. Now, if you see here, this war file is downloaded in this directory E. I will copy this from here. So I'll right click and then click on copy. Now in the command prompt, first I will change the directory to E. So I will type here E colon. Now I'm in the E directory. You can see here. Now I will write CD. And then I will just right click to paste the path of the war file. I'll click on right click and then I'll put enter. I'll press enter. Now I'm in this folder downloads where the war file is downloaded Jenkins.war. Now the next step is we have to type this command. So here you will see in this third one Java slash jar and then Jenkins.war. So I'll type here java dash jar and then jenkins dot war i'll minimize this window i'll press enter now this will start downloading the jenkins for us this will do the configuration settings and here you will see the root the directory in which this has been downloaded is user home now here you will see Jenkins install setup is required An admin user has been created and a password generated. Please use the following password to proceed installation. So this is the password that we have to use for the first time. Now this password is also stored in the directory where the Jenkins is stored and I'll show you that. So I'll go here, see then users and then this is my user Amir S. And here I will click on Jenkins dot Jenkins here and in that I will click on secrets and then I will click on this initial admin password and then I will select here notepad and open it. So this is the password that you will see here in the CMD also. So this is the same password C61 here also you will see C61. Now if I go to this command prompt. So it has been successfully installed and now Jenkins by default it runs on the port 8080. So if I open the notepad here, now you will see that this will start the Jenkins at the default server localhost 8080. 
080. Now I will copy this from here. I will open one browser. I'll open a new tab and I will paste that localhost 8080 and I'll click enter. Now you will get this option here sign in to Jenkins. Please copy the password from either location and paste it below. So you can paste, you can copy the password either from here or from this notepad that we have found here in this secrets initial admin password. So let me copy the password from here. I'll copy the password from here. I'll go to the web browser and here I will paste it. And then I will click on continue. And now you will see here we are getting getting started and here you will see two options customize Jenkins plugins extend Jenkins with additional features to support many different needs. The first one is install suggestions plugin and the second one is select plugins to install. I will click on this left one that is install suggested plugins and this will take some time 10 to 15 minutes to install all the plugins depending on your internet speed. I will click on this. And now you will see you are getting this message here getting started. It will start downloading all these plugins one by one. Now you can see that it has started downloading. So it has downloaded these folders and all the uh, plugins will become green once they are downloaded. For the time being I will pause this video and once all this download is completed then I will resume the video. Once the plugins are installed then you will see this page create first admin user so you can create your username and enter the password but for now I'm going to skip and continue as admin and then here you will see the Jenkins URL you will always see your Jenkins getting started at this localhost 8080 by default you can even change the port number but by default you will find it here then I will just click on not now and then you will see the message Jenkins is ready and then you can click here start using Jenkins. Then you will come on this page where you will see welcome to Jenkins and here you will get some messages here some notifications and all. Then here you will see set up agent configure a cloud create a job and so on. So you can come on this page and then you can uh, just you know go to the different services that you want to see you can all also click on this manage jenkins my views and so on so this is how you can install jenkins on your windows machine i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching